Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths, where we seem to have a fortress with a whole bunch of fixed hull broadside. Uh, simple cannons, 32 pounders, and they're just pounding away at a marauder, and it seems like, well, business as usual. Uh, but there's a twist here uh, with this particular setup. Uh, these are on turrets, and they're on turrets with a rather interesting setup. Uh, they're locked in place and cannot rotate at all. So, I guarantee you, I bet you a big sticky donut that I am not the first person to come up with this kind of idea, but it kind of popped into my head the other day, so here we are. So, this is a basically a method. This, of course, there's other things you could use this for, but the first thing that came to my brain uh, was it allows... A uh, quick and easy setup for a kind of Age of Sails uh, style broadsides with just a whole bunch of uh, fixed, huge inverted commas, guns. So, how does this work exactly? Well, the Marauder is... let's see, how are you doing, sir? You are being shredded by lots of balls, delicious balls. Uh, so we'll just put you out of your misery. So how this works is you just have a turret, and you just have it in place, and you stick a whole bunch of guns on the top of it, and uh, you just um, stick some blocks that clip through it uh, so it cannot move. And that's just, um, that's honestly kind of an optional thing, really, because you can uh, just set it up so that it's just uh, with this not entirely symmetrical part uh, that sticks up to the deck, you could just have the deck lock it in place just by virtue of how it is. Uh, but I like to do this because it, I don't know, it, like, it fits in. You could argue that it's cheating, um, but, like, it's, I don't know. It, you get, you get, it doesn't feel like cheating. I have nothing more to go on than that. But it also helps to, uh, keep, still keep firing restrictions in place, uh, just so the turret, uh, doesn't aim at things on the wrong side of the craft, of course. And the firing restrictions are also on every single one of these guns as well. Thank goodness for prefabbing, otherwise this would take way too damn long. And, um, yeah, you've probably already guessed, but there are some drawbacks to this. Um, the pros, of course, is that it, like, it saves a lot of block space and resources and is pretty straightforward to do. What you're seeing here, like, uh, like, just minus all the mucking around time that, of course, happens when you're trying new things. It's like less than a minute. Well, that's probably an exaggeration. It's only a few minutes to set up one of these uh, fixed turrets. And, um, yeah, it's way quicker and uses uh, less materials and blocks than setting up uh, so that every single one of these broadside cannons has its own little weapon controller. Or even uh, setting it up so, like, weapon controllers control, like, two cannons at the same time. Uh, because... These fellas, well, they're not incredibly expensive, but it does add up, and uh, the all-in-one controllers really add up. So, a uh, bit of a bit of an issue there that is neatly avoided with this. And of course, like there are problems. First, look, firstly, and I'm going to use my handy death ray to demonstrate this. Uh, the turret block uh, becomes uh, no robot. The turret block uh, becomes a single glaring point of failure, so if you get any kind of like penetrating shot uh, that takes out the turret block, suddenly it's like, well in this case, 33 cannons just fall off your craft, so not the most redundant design. Uh, and speaking of redundancy, it's also a lack of redundancy from EMP, so usually if you do it, I guess the traditional way you could call it, you have a whole bunch of separate local weapon controllers, maybe you have surge protectors elsewhere in your craft, and in order for all of these weapons to be shut down, uh, basically EMP needs to cook every single local weapon controller, which it can easily do, but if you just have one of these little guys down here, if that one gets uh, fried by EMP or just taken out any other way, again, you've got 33 guns which are suddenly rendered completely useless, and that's not great. And the last thing, and I'm just going to fully repair this fella, is that you end up with kind of terrible accuracy because beyond a certain point uh, turrets tend to be kind of bad at aiming with like too many separate weapons at once uh, the AI isn't sure what to do so the best way to correct for that I guess is to make sure the very first weapon you place on the turret is basically in the middle of the turret so 
in this case, I actually placed this guy first. It probably should have been that fella. Uh, because these things tend to overshoot a lot, because these guys are on top. Especially if you stack weapons on top of each other like this, and especially, especially, if you set them further back like this. Um, let's spawn in our friend the Marauder again, and hopefully we can see this. Don't want to be deafened. And, whoops, that was a screenshot. Fat fingers. And you'll probably notice that... Ooh, slow motion, how convenient. That a lot of these shells whiff over the top of the target, and I think... That is because of how I've placed them, and it would have been much smarter for me uh, to place, uh, like, the very first cannon, like, right in the middle, so the turret is like, aha, that is the thing we're aiming with, because FTD is funny like that. Uh, the counterpoint to this being horribly inaccurate is that, well, simple weapons, a lot of the simpler simpler weapons, mind you, and um, particularly these fellas, these fellas actually aren't too bad, these uh, 64 pounder cannons, uh, 16, 32, 64 pounder cannons, they're pretty inaccurate to begin with anyway, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. But if you want to get cute with things like, I don't know, auto cannons or APS or even with stuff like crams and all that, uh, then you are going to have to think ahead about which weapon is the one that's going to do, that you want to aim, that you want the turret to aim with. I'm good at words. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. It's one of those things that's like, oh, this is a simple way to do things. So, meta-wise, I would say this is not very smart because of aforementioned lack of redundancy and um, just the horrible glaring weak point of the single local, local, uh, single local weapon controller and single turret block. But, if you want to, just for style points or something like that, make an Age of Sail uh, kind of craft or an Ironclad or something like this, I think this will be a great time saver for you, so I'm certainly going to keep doing this in the future. Uh, because goodness knows I don't always do the meta thing. And just to show you that this does work if you actually put it on a ship, I have made not one, but two little prototype craft. Which, this is the basically towards the end of the video, we can, we can have some fun. So the first one's this one, turret lock broadsider. And it's just got a single row of these 64 pounder cannons. This is not an award-winning craft design uh, by any stretch of the imagination. And you can tell I took shortcuts because there's just a little detection turret on top here because I could not be asked uh, setting up more complicated stuff. And if we spawn in our friend the Broader, you can see that this thing does circle at a distance and it does just fine. So we're here, sits a little bit low in the water. And I, hopefully I saved this thing when I fixed it, so wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Um, I didn't save it, did I? I did not save it. Oh boy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Technical difficulties. Nope. Why does this keep happening to me? Oh, it's because we're not in range yet. Why do you do this? Hello? <laughs> there we go, I almost missed it. Did we hit anything? Yes, we did! So you can see this fella just trundles around, firing broadsides. I quite like the superstructure on this fella. It's, uh, again, not an award-winning design at all, but um, you can see the basic premise. You've got one little local weapon controller here. I hope that's not too loud. Uh, controlling all the control stuff. Lots of empty space in the middle because, again, Quick job, feeling lazy, and we've got propellers on the back because why not? And just to show you this is in fact um, what this thing looks like sans turrets, handy build tools, and remove three of these and you'll see that most of the superstructure was actually turret the whole time. It was in fact turret cake. And as for the second one, like because you don't have to do this with just simple weapons, you can do this with APS as well, and I might have gone a little bit crazy with um, further experimentation with this. Uh, because APS is a lot heavier, and because this fills up entirely uh, the space in here, and uses a lot more metal, it's a lot heavier. So it's got little props on the underside, because why not? And it's got a silly face, because I couldn't resist. So, spawning our friend the Marauder again, because why not? You will see that uh, we've got... A barrage of hollow point coming in. Take your time, mate. There we go. And lots of thump. And just to give you an idea of what this looks like, 
not award-winning ATS design at all, although it does have injectors and pure kinetic shells. And yeah, it's just probably way more expensive for what it does. Like I said before, not a meta idea to do this uh, generally ever, simply because when you have half your weapons, your main armament, pointing in the wrong direction, it's not super good, and as uh, you can see, I haven't actually locked this fella properly. But that's okay, uh, because it doesn't matter. This fella, the turret has a very limited range, and it still works just fine. So you don't even have to do the clipping thing, like I said earlier. So yeah, that uh, that does it for this video. This I love this thing. I love this thing. It looks so silly. It's a silly premise. It's a silly design. My goodness, I just love being silly sometimes. And yes, this is reinforced wood. Very naughty, I know. And that'll do it uh, for locked broadside turrets. How to basic. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.